80 degree day in Denver today. Guessing the last thing a lot of people were thinking about is snow. But the snow has been fantastic across our state this year and soon it'll start to melt. Some places are already preparing for the possibility of dangerous flooding as a result. Mark Salinger takes a look at why this year's snow melt could be making an impact for years. Miles away from a nearly empty reservoir, the mountains above Lake Loveland predict what's coming soon. We're in dire need of uh, snowpack to replenish those reservoirs. People in the city of Greeley rely on Lake Loveland for water. It's also crucial for farms and agriculture across northern Colorado. And right now, it's 70% empty. And we're expecting in the months ahead that that's going to come down and refill reservoirs that were depleted by drought in a pretty hot summer last year. Sean Chambers is the director of water and sewer utilities yeah, for the so city of Greeley. The snowpack graphs he looks at show the reservoirs won't stay empty for long. Um, we're about 115% above average here on the Front Range in the South Platte Basin. And that puts us at about 135, 140% of where we were last year. So what do all those numbers actually mean. There are some years where Lake Loveland doesn't even fill all the way up after the snow melt. This year, Sean is focused on making the most of the water in a year when we actually have it. So replenishing our storage is really critical for uh, being in a resilient position to survive the next drought cycle. For years, Colorado has struggled with drought. That makes all that snow up in the mountains now that much more important. We, we absolutely need the water. Uh, we just are really worried about how fast it comes off the mountain. In Delta County, Commissioner Don Supas is warning his towns to prepare for flooding. If the snow melts too quickly, he says they could be in big trouble. And we are we are very nervous about the amount of water that's going to be coming down our rivers and streams in the next month and a half. Every year we suck water out of places like here in Loveland. This year, the water that fills it back up could help us survive the next drought. But we expect with this snowpack that we'll refill the reservoir. So remember the Cameron Peak fire from back in 2020. Water managers in Greeley are still dealing with its impact. In recent years, they've had to shut down the water treatment plant because the water was so polluted with sediment from the fire coming down from the mountain. This year, they'll monitor the runoff for impacts of the fire, but they're most worried about heavy spring rainstorms washing more of that dirt and debris into the rivers. We're now a decade off of that enormous flood event for northern Colorado, uh, Boulder County, especially in 2013, flooding that led to a lot of mitigation work and hopefully prevention work for the future. Yeah, Sean was talking about that today with me. He was saying that they've increased the infrastructure. They've made that better since those floods way back in 2013. Now it could be put to the test if there's this massive snowpack and then if we also have a quick snow melt. Don't say way back, Mark. That makes some of us feel old. It's just <laughs> 10 years. It's just back, okay? It's just back. Thank you.